Good morning, fellow punchers. There's no clock on the wall in this hotel. So it's about 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Uh, I hadn't planned to do a video, but I got a message from a fella to say that um, last I had posted uh, two horses with one to follow on uh, last night's video. But it, he said it wasn't coming up on the laptop, but it was coming up on the phone. So... I checked that and he was right. Um, it's on my phone, last night's video, and it's not on the laptops. I don't know why that is. I have no idea. Um, so I said I'd do one quick. It wouldn't be fair for people um, that couldn't see it. I'm up, but I'm just about up. I had too much porter last night. It was, um, must be half 12 when we were at home. I kept Terry out a bit later than I had planned, but he didn't mind. He snuck off for a sneaky kebab chicken something he said at one stage so myself and the gaffer in the pub we were reminiscing about this one that one and the other one and those pints flowing so I'm suffering a bit this morning but I don't mind I had two paracetamol there and a bottle of water I'm going to walk for the breakfast now uh, meeting Terry for lunch and uh, meeting Niall later in the day for uh, in town um, I said last night I think someone said uh, what was the nap today well I'd be hoping that uh, the Tower of London it was 9 to 4 two days ago which um, was into 5 to 4 11 to 8 now but uh, this is a group 3 race now it's a step up in uh, class because it won a handicap the premier handicap in uh, Down Royal. We were on at the last day. It was 5 to 2, 11 to 4. That was top rated at 109 with St. George. Um, but this time last year, we were on a horse, something sort of similar. It was New London. Uh, this was him winning in down royal he's in the cool more colors and beginning to move into position tower of london is traveling up strongly on the outside malbe madness has ridden matt connor the same dubawi specter and exits the race on towards the two and it's hippodrome on the inside with ibrimovic who's game now in the center tower of london's got a challenge late and ibrimovic has gone to the front tower of london goes in pursuit but it's ibrimovic and david brunberg monocle from tower of london and kelly and hennessy who challenge now on the near side and the pair go away and tower of london has the advantage and is beginning to open up clear in the closing stages and Tower of London is going to go away and take this for Kelly and Hennessy and Aidan O'Brien win the Boys Sports Ulster Dart. Won that with plenty in hand. St George is a decent, a decent nag. Uh, looks to be the sort of the main danger, you would think. Um, but travelling over can always be dodgy. You don't know how it's going to pan out for them, but that. Should uh, be competitive, you'd imagine. Someone left a comment last night. Um, are we going to stay with imminency? I think we can. Um, they're paying five places on this race today. We've backed it three times and it has made us money each time. Uh, and it has ran well at the track before. Um, the last day in York... It closed well, I thought. Uh, it's with the purple hat um, to the left. Well, the middle of the track. Sheen, who's coming alongside them all, followed through by Pure Angel. They're inside the final furlong. Washington Heights drifting across towards Quinault on the near side. Kept going by Jamie Spencer. Washington Heights. Quinault is lunging late as they go towards the line. And Quinault has got there for Washington Heights. That's five out of five in handicap. So hopefully he can be competitive. And then there's one at Leperstown. I thought the step up in trip might suit this horse. Uh, Colin Keane riding for Michael O'Callaghan. And is always something to watch out for. No, Callaghan's yard isn't pulling up three stumps. It's zero for six in the last 14 days. But... Keane was fourth on it twice and I thought I thought maybe it ran well enough I thought the last day uh, 
that the ship had been tripped by its suit. Sense of security, Rockbury lad makes headway around the outside as they head on, with over a furlong and a half to race. Three or four from the left there. Chestnut and the red and black between them in the cheek pieces is fast man Rockbury lad. Amanarinas is making good headway out in the centre of the course in black and yellow colours, chased by Bobby Kay, but inside the final furlong. Ferry Bank, Chestnutter in the centre down the outside of Menorinas. Less than 100 yards to race. Chestnutter with a narrow advantage as they go to the line. Ferry Bank on the far side and Chestnutter very tight between them. Amanarinas is third and close for fourth between Fastman and Rockbury. Chestnutter uh, won, or uh, yeah, he went on to win again. Uh, since so uh, there's a bit of solidness about that uh, forum I thought step up and trip uh, should be a plus I would say uh, anyway I get this up like go for the breakfast might have to lie down then for an hour again thanks everyone for all your kindness in your comments last night terry was absolutely buzzing coming home absolutely buzzing beaming bash the bookies over and out 